Hello folks, welcome back to the next video in the building NAS multi-part series and in this video we are going to install free NAS on the NAS that we built in the last video. So to get started we go to freenas.org and select download. No thank you, we don't want your newsletter for now. And then we select the first download which is the installing free NAS and as you can see it's a about it's it's about 380 meg download and it should take about two minutes so while the free NAS installer is downloading let's go ahead and install a utility that will let us write the installer onto a USB stick now at this point one of the one of the choice we have is using unit boot, boot in for windows but I didn't have much luck using this utility to write FreeNAS onto the USB stick. So what I usually use is I use um, the Win32 disk imager as there you go so we have the installed we just have installed in the disk major so folks now the free NAS ISO is downloaded and now there are still a couple of steps that we need to go through before we can actually use this on our NAS build now the ISO that we have downloaded here is the installer ISO it is not the final image that we that would go onto the disk so now it's going to be a two-step process wherein we take this ISO and boot up FreeNAS with this ISO and then install FreeNAS onto a separate USB disk so stick with me because this is this might be a little confusing but it's pretty simple to remember this is the installer and not the final image that we need so what I'm going to do is I have VirtualBox so now what I'm going to do is I'll create a new virtual machine for this Linux and Ubuntu 64 give it 2 GB of RAM and we don't need a hard drive at all uh, and we'll just do not add a virtual drive and we create it blah, 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 blah. it's okay now we have our free NAS created now what I've done is I'll go to settings and in storage on the IDE controller I will choose the free NAS ISO that we have right that's about it for for the ISO now when you have you have plugged in the USB in into your computer you need to make sure that the USB flash drive that you've plugged in into your computer is visible to the virtual machine then we go to the USB tab and add the USB which is this guy right here and that is it and then once that is done let's just start the virtual machine goes there it is press enter now the virtual machine will boot up and there you go it detected the 8 GB drive and now we do install upgrade and that is our PNY USB 2 8 GB disk and then just say ok it will ask us for confirmation that will erase all partitions and data on the flash drive and we are okay with that now it will ask for the root password for the free NAS installation just 
enter your password whatever you want here and now it's installing FreeNAS onto the flash drive here depending on the speed of your flash drive this might take a while so go ahead and grab a cup of coffee all right fantastic so our FreeNAS installation is complete on the USB drive now all I need to do is just take this drive and put it on the NAS machine and turn it on. I probably won't even need a monitor or a keyboard attached to it because it will just boot up and uh, boot up in its defaults and then we can use the web GUI to do the configuration for that. And we say OK. We are back at the screen. Let's say shut down system and we are done with the installation. So let me just plug this in there and I'll be right back. So what I did now at this point is I've just plugged in the USB drive into the NAS and I've just turned it on. It is about five minutes since I've done that and now I'm able to ping the device and there it is. So we'll just try to hit this in the browser, hit this IP in the browser and see if the UI is up. And yes, it is. So at this point, the free NAS is installed on the NAS box. So let me try just logging in here. All right, fantastic. This is all we have for this video, uh, the installation of FreeNAS. So in the next video, I'll install an add-on card into the NAS box and uh, upgrade it from a 2-bay to a 6-bay NAS. And then we will go over the configuration of this NAS. Until then, folks, have a good day.